everyone, my name is Lucy Trooper and welcome back to Lucy the Attorney She Wished For. I unlocked the door and entered the house. And like usual, I could sense someone's presence inside. I hear a couple's voices coming from the television room inside the living room. I thought of, uh, my father appears to be returned home early. Makes me feel uneasy. I first place to move, remove my shoes from my feet, using only my feet. To think of it, um, I was always home alone. At least, it's been this way ever since I had grown old enough to take care of myself. For that, we used to have a housekeeper watch over the place. However, that was only until I began middle school. From there on, then on, I was always by myself. Eat breakfast alone? Well, I would eat breakfast alone, eat dinner alone. I would cycle, it would repeat endlessly. The cycle would repeat endlessly. I don't even remember the last time all of us ate dinner together as a family. There's no such thing as a home cooked meal in this household. I've eaten so many different kinds of instant food, instant foods in my life that I come to memorize every product of every brand. Mother, my father puts his work before his family. My mother foil, uh, my new mother follows my father everywhere to support him while practically ignoring me. New mother? Oh, okay then. This is my family. At this point, feels out of place to see someone actually at home. <clears throat> Father is on the couch watching television. Ola Mola, he's a fancy man. You're back. He doesn't even turn around to face me. It implies, it implies that he's not in a good mood. Yes, Father. You're very late. Check the time. Actually, it wasn't that late. There are times that'd be much later. I wonder if this man even knows how old I am. Where have you been wandering off to for so long? Don't you know that you'll be in college soon? Don't bother applying. He's the guy who never paid inten any attention to me. I think to myself, I don't care long to if I was my father. My relationship compares badly with other families. But that is to be expected. We spent too much quality time together, going to the zoo and playing soccer together. I don't even have any of those fine memories that other kids my age probably have. Looks like a very... He's a suit. He's a suit, man. Doesn't even have his collar on tight. He's relaxed. Oops. My earliest memories are of my father's turned face. So it would be even more bizarre if we actually got along. As a stand in silence, the old man launches his next attack. You're not listening to me? He still doesn't bother looking at me. Cut me used to minding my own business. Keep your own devices. Solve any conflicts within the family. We normally sit down together and talk about it. My father doesn't think that there's any need for that. He thinks everything is fine the way it is. It'd actually be painful to talk face to face with that man though. Stop by stop by somewhere on the way home. Yeah I'll just deal with our usual exchange. As long as I don't make him angry, that's good enough for me. I just need to maintain the peace between us. It's always been this way. As usual, I tried my best not to rock the boat. I don't know what you kids are up to these days, but remember that student like that students like you should be studying. Studying for saying this for your sake. So stop hanging out with those brats and we only care about having fun. You can't afford to lose sight of the main goal. Stay focused. I'm going to my room now. That said, try to make this an escape. Conversation usually ends about there. Lucy has been silent 
all this time besides to whisper into my ear. Ah, no, it's a master. Ah, no, it's a master. No, it's a master. He has a huge weather, I should tell her or not. And quietly whisper back. Yeah. Lucy taps on my shoulders. Master, no, it's a master. I know her choice of her to grant her wish. Lucy's voice caught him by surprise. Because my father's finally turned to face me. He's very really holding the look at him. The look at him. Okay then. Yep. Who is your guest? The wild smile Lucy grabs to the edges of her skirt. She then form, forms a flawless courtesy that always would make a princess envious. Hajime maste, Oto sama. Tamokte ki yoto to shite tsukurare ta android. Kyo kara kochira no osewa ni naru koto ni narimashi ta nade. Nani tozo yoroshiku o negai itashimasu. I don't think this is gonna end well. <laughs> this legend. Tears or pain or sadness. But it's just a robot. So as you change this completely. The sharpness in his weights penetrates every part of my body. Lucy doesn't seem to notice. Or she's pretending not to. She continues to smile. Soji, Sentaku, Biori, Nandemo Makasekudasai. Lucy, Sorry, but there's nothing we need for a robot in this family. Just that I suggest that you look for somewhere else to stay. No, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Not impressed. Not impressed in the slightest. Oh, this is not looking too good. Meanwhile, well, Lucy continues to ramble on, completely oblivious to what is about to happen. It's talking as if she's about to become my personal tutor. それ以外にも優秀な機能はたくさんあります。お裁縫や不自由のない暮らしのための家政婦の仕事など。Just where did you get this piece of chalk? Get it out of my sight! His angry outburst is all so sudden it is as it is intense. Catches Lucy off guard. Stumbles backwards in alarm. No surprise here. No surprise is here. It's all this coming a mile away. It's a person. It's a present from a friend. I lie instinctively. If I were honest, tell my founder and trash would definitely force me to take it back right there. I'll just say that I got it from Dr. Gears. Family knows his manners. Father knows his manners. No way he'll make me throw away a present. Ah, no. It's just... You should have stopped being a little troublemaker since you were little. What have I told you? What have I always told you? Robots are running society. Did you forget about all that? Well, there's always been like this. Robots are increase, becoming increasingly more common. They're gradually making their way into our daily lives. But my parents consider them as intruders and filtering human society. Infiltrating her. I can't speak. I can't speak. Really is unable to catch with the swifts of technology in technology whilst they refuse to go other traditional ways. They simply refuse to coexist with robots. Next to that, I grow up hearing nothing but bad things about robots. What's wrong with keeping one around the house? What's wrong, you ask? I always read about families owning androids nowadays. Oh, she's so sad. She's so mean. <laughs> Why can't we just keep running around for convenience? I clearly just 
I clearly need to just add fuel to the fire. Convenience? Think about the type of people who care about convenience. Convenience makes us lazy. And with and when we're lazy, our minds don't work properly. Convenience makes our minds weak. <clears throat> it's obvious how they'll live the rest of their lives. They're realizing that they're hopeless, hopelessly lazy and they'll just end up living in a meaningless existence. I already lost count how many times I heard him heard this in front of him. His lecture is very in B. Goes from A to Z, by the way. I'm so sick of this. I just want to wrap up this conversation so I can leave as soon as possible. Anyways, ex accepted it already, so we should keep it. The one who's gonna be using it, so why would you care? And who does paying this? Who's the one going to pay for using paying for the city? Sorry to be so selfish. I'm starting to reach my limit. Come on. I just want to leave. And I'll pay for it. And get a part time job. Job? You're gonna get a job? You're gonna work when you should be studying? Yes. Do you realize how important this phase of your life is? These years in high school should decide the rest of your future. Those permissions... With whose permissions are you planning to work? It's like you should be studying. Just keep your mouth shut and study. Well, I'll pay... F ah, man. <laughs> Give me a second. Well, I'll pay you back when I grow up so I can leave... So... Just leave me alone, damn it! Ooh, it's sure shock now. I scream at the top of my lungs. His eyes widen in shock. That was to be expected. I never raised my voice in front of my parents before. You can't do this, you can't do that. And just what the heck am I supposed to do? I'm so furious that I can almost feel steam rising from my head. At the same time, my father's eyes quickly narrow and begin burn with rage. Oh, he's so pissed off now. Did you just slap me? Time slows down if I'm left struggling to process what just happened. Stand peace. Stand in place holding my sore cheek as I stand in my... Stare at my father in shock. Knowing what to do, Lucy fridges non-stop. So where the hell did you learn... I had it in the word hell. There's no story word right there. So where did you learn to be so stubborn? I never raised you this way. Shocked and humiliated, I can no longer calm my fiery soul. Turn around and stomp off towards my room. Pull Lucy along with me. This is in Lucy eventually makes... Short back to my father, trailing along. By me, I hear my father yelling. Shut it all out, as my blind rage is nearly overpowering. Oh, you can hear him. I'm really angry. <laughs> well, I'm going to pause right here, everyone. So, this is me, Gate Trooper, signing off on this episode.